Hey, this is Cravenoff. <clears throat> um, this is episode four of my Minecraft Let's Play series. And um, right now, I'm down in that lava pit. And I think um, what I'm doing right now is I'm looking for um, diamonds. And I'm down here, and I sort of just mine in a straight line for a while, sort of taking core samples almost, you know, and um, I just sort of go in a straight line like I've done there and see if I hit any veins, and um, if I don't, just move on after if, just a little while, I don't, I don't spend a whole lot of time looking, Ooh, see that, perfect example of how this works, so found some iron, I'll come back and mine the iron when it's ready. Yeah, I think, I don't know, I love this game, it's so great. Um, while I'm doing this, maybe I'll talk to you a little bit about why I love this game so much, it's so cool. It's, oh, see, yeah, yeah. What's great about this game is that all of the entertainment value is like brought to the game by the player. It's not, you know, a failure of the design of the game if you're not having fun. It's really a failure of, like, your ability to imagine and play. Um, it's on you. If you're not having fun with this game, it's because, um, you're not really, you're, really, you're not trying. Because there's so many fun things to do, and, <clears throat> you know, it's just sort of like, you know, if you can if you can have fun just hanging out with your friends, just playing pretend, just talking and having conversations, then you should be able to have fun with this game. It's, you know, because there's no you know it's not a it has nothing to do with the designer, you know, or the graphics or anything like that. You know, a lot of games rely on the the your ability to you know how many guns there are, or how many different places you can go, and just, and I'm not, I'm not saying that the designer is completely, you know, has nothing to do with it, but really, he just has given us parameters to play in. You know, he's given us, you know, it, that's why they call it a sandbox game. He's given us the sand, he's given us the box, and it's up to us to have fun with that sand. It has nothing to do with what the sand can do and everything to do with, you know, what you choose to do with the sand. And, um, I, so that's, I think that there's something really, uh, sort of cool about that idea. And just sort of encourages players to use their imagination and explore. I don't know. That's, that's my two cents on the matter. But, um, I don't know. I like this game. I think it's really cool. Ooh, more iron. Yes, iron. I'm, uh, collecting a lot of iron, as much iron as I can for right now, because, um, in the near future, I would like to, uh, start a, uh, if not a roller coaster, then definitely a minecart system. Because I've just been noticing it's like a real pain in the butt to bring supplies with you. And if I brought, if I built a minecart system, like a rail system, up from the penthouse, not only would it make it easier to get stuff down here, but it would also make it easier to move stuff up to the new, the new house. And also, um, I'm not sure what else, but, uh, I'm sure there'll be all sorts of convenience that comes with having the mine cards and I mean, make it easier to get down, like traveling from one spot to another. I'm sure it'll make it faster, more fun. I won't have to steer or anything. Ooh, more iron. Yay. It's iron. It's iron. Where are the diamonds? That's what I want. I mean, I need iron for that project, but. Who doesn't like? Oh, wrong, wrong Who doesn't like coming upon a vein of of diamonds? You see that blue? It's like, ooh, yay! 
Um, that's what I'm doing right now. Is there? Let's see. This isn't getting me much in the way of diamonds. Let's see. Let's see what I can do. Ugh. There's this lava pit. Chewing through these axes really quick. Ooh, more iron. Hello. Tricky lava. Okay. Well, let's block that in. Let's see. Yay. Okay. I was getting nervous mining next to lava. You never know how far. How far? How far down the lava goes, or how far across it goes? It's hard to tell with certainty any of those things, and it's like you mine the wrong block, and you if you don't react like lightning fast, or ooh, what is that? Did I put that there? It's over there. Oh, I put that there. Dang. I thought it was a dungeon. But the way you know that you've hit a dungeon is if you find cobblestone in the wall. It's the only naturally occurring cobblestone in the game, is the dungeon walls. And so if you're mining and you see cobblestone, then you're near a dungeon. That's the outer shell. The dungeon's just a, like a cube set in the stone. It's hollow, and it's got bad guys in it. Usually treasure too, although I did find one the other day that had no treasure and I was bummed. I went through all of the the trouble of like defeating the bad guys and like figuring all that out and there was nothing in there. Um well I'm gonna I'm gonna call it I'm gonna call this a video for now. I know I didn't do much. Um I don't know, we had a we had a little conversation about the philosophy of Minecraft is rather deep, I guess. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut this down before it gets too long. And, um, yeah. So, that's expansion on the underground grotto, is what I'm, I'm nicknaming it now. It's the grotto. What is up with this water? Can I change it? That's weird. Well, Anyway, at any rate, th that's it. Um, see you next episode on Minecraft Let's Play with Krakenoff.